Hi, my name is Addison Graham. I am an ISU student um, uh, majoring in special education with a specialty in low vision and blindness, and I have made an alphabet book for a little girl. I've obviously crossed out her name to protect her privacy, but this is a demonstration of the lesson that I built. If you have any critiquing that you'd like to give, or if you'd like to use this yourself, you can easily find um, the PowerPoint presentation used to create uh, this book in the description below of this video, a poppet. Um, uh, they're pretty popular fidget toys, um, but just cut it out. It doesn't have to be look pretty, just cut it out in the size of a braille cell. Um, two columns, three rows, make two of them, one for the student, one for the teacher, and then um, braille out um, the alphabet. And obviously, like I said, I'll include this all in the presentation. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so in this, you're going to be working side by side with the child, and you're going to um, be reading the book. You're going to have a lot of pizzazz in your voice. You're going to uh, be flipping through the pages. I've printed mine off a little bit of a strange way. Um, as you can see, it's upside down. So and for me, I'm going to have to turn it over. Um, but I've also laminated it to improve the longevity of uh, the book. And then I punched out holes and just included simple uh, ring binders that you can find anywhere. Uh, but you're going to, as you read through the book, for each letter, you're going to um, count out, maybe, how many objects are on the page. One, two, you're trying to build number sense. And then you're also going to work with the student because on each page you'll find that there's the letter in very large font, but also the braille cell. Um, the darkened portion is the portion that says, is the portion that stays up on the poppet. So for an A, you're gonna put down everything except for this top left corner. And you're gonna do that with the student and um, you're gonna do modeling and scaffolding uh, and try to encourage them as much as, in, as they can independently uh, to replicate what you do on your poppet. And then you're going to teach uh, two-handed tracking, two-hand tracking. You know, you're going to have one hand right here, and it's going to feel all the letters. As you can see, um, there is, I've included the alphabet letter, just A and then a word that goes along with it. That word is the same word that is in the alphabet book. I would love to get sticky braille for the alphabet book as well, but uh, I don't have any sticky braille on hand, so this is what I had to do for me. Um, but let's get started. So, alphabet book, yay! A is for apple. <sighs> that is delicious. All right. Do you see that we've got the letter here and then a braille cell? Now use your poppet just like I do. I'm going to put everything down in my poppet except for the top left corner. Can you keep the top left corner up just like in this braille cell? Good job, very nice. All right, let's reset the braille cell. Flip it back over, let's reset it. All right, now let's read our braille. So use your two hands and feel that line. There you go, feel that line. Very good. Okay, oh, but before we move on, Mr. Addison forgot something. I forgot to count the apples. Can you help me count the apples? All right, ready? We've got one and two. Good. 
good job. Very good. Whoop. All right. Do you know what this picture is? Yeah, it's a picture of a soccer ball. Yeah. And this letter right here, do you know what this letter is? That's okay. It's the letter B, and B is for ball. All right, let's look at our braille cell right here. So the top left and the middle left, they're going to stay open. So watch me as I, as I do the braille cell. I'm going to put everything down except for the top left except for the top left and the middle left. Can you try? Very good job, congratulations. Okay, oh, uh-oh, it looks like you accidentally put the middle left down. Let's try that one more time. Okay, try again. So top left and middle left stay up. Everything else goes down. Very good, very good. All right, and then how many soccer balls do we have in this picture? Yeah, just one, just one. Okay, let's read our braille. Two hand tracking. B, ball, very good. Okay. So, this kind of concludes the tutorial. Um, you wanna make sure that, uh, for me personally, and the student I'm working with, you know, they're on the much younger side, so I don't really refer to the braille cells by their numbers, that is being the top left as one, middle left as two, three, top right as four, middle right as five, and then bottom right as six. I don't refer to them by the numbers because I want to make sure that when, in this particular lesson, when I'm saying numbers, I want them to correlate that to the number sense. I don't wanna be um, saying a lot of numbers, which might be hard for them to process. I'm gonna try to be focusing on the number sense aspect of how many objects are in the picture. Um, and then two hand tracking, you know, for an adult might be kind of difficult with such a small, with such a little line here. But uh, then again, you know, as a kiddo, we still need to teach these lessons, um, these skills of two hand tracking, but at the same time, their hands are gonna be a lot smaller. So it is gonna be much easier for them to, you know, fully sustain right through there. Um, and then if, again, if you have sticky braille, putting it right here would probably be awesome. I just don't happen to have it at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope um, that if you're a parent at home, you're able to download this and make a fun little activity. And if you're a TVI, um, if you'd like to give me some feedback, I would much appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.